Hey guys, it's Just Monis Fiction, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be sharing anticipated fall fantasy releases. Alright guys, so these are all the books that are coming out in November that I am really looking forward to reading. So I tried to sort this by projected release date, so hopefully these release dates stick. And if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads, both linked down below. With all that out of the way, let's talk about these books that are coming out next month. Starting off with books that are releasing on November 1st. So there's a decent amount, but the one I'm most looking forward to reading is The Luminaries. So this is a YA paranormal horror fantasy, and we are following Winnie. And Winnie lives in the town of Hemlock Grove. And Hemlock Grove is plagued by nightmares and monsters and ghosts every night. And there is this secret society that is known as The Luminaries that fights them and really protects this town and all of humanity from these nightmares. Now our main character Winnie wants nothing more than to be part of this society. Unfortunately her father was outed as being a witch so the entire community she's living in is really shunning her and her mother and it's really just her story of wanting to be part of this group and I cannot wait to read this. I have seen amazing reviews for this and it sounds like it has a perfect mix of like horror, which I really love reading this time of year, and then why fantasy, and just an awesome heroine, and I cannot wait. So I will definitely be reading this very soon after it releases on November 1st. And next up, also releasing on November 1st, we have The Cloisters, and apparently this is a debut novel, and it's said to be a mix of genres, mystery, and fantasy, and it also is utilizing tarot card magic, and I hadn't read any books that use that magic system until I read One Dark Window, which is a YA fantasy that recently released, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm so excited to read this adult book. Hopefully it's a little darker, but we're following a main character that is going to work in New York City at this museum, and she ends up stumbling upon these 15th century tarot cards, and I think she ends up kind of becoming obsessed with them, and it just sounds really cool. And like I said, I'm really interested in the whole tarot card magic system. It's just super unique. So I cannot wait to read that. And on November 9th, Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion is finally going to be released. So I read Legendborn when it first came out almost two years ago, and I really enjoyed it. It is a YA fantasy that is following Brie. And after Brie's mother is killed in a car crash, she ends up being accepted to this early college program where she lives on this college campus. And after being there for a few weeks, she discovers this secret society where all of the descendants are from the like legacy of King Arthur. So we have a Merlin who has certain powers and an Arthur character that has certain powers and they all go up to fight against these demons. So Brie ends up being like taken into this order and it's her story and it was just so good. I really have to go back and do a reread, but I just remember being so like engrossed in this story and there was a love triangle and I remember loving a guy named Soren, and it was just, I cannot wait for the second book to come out. So like I said, this book is coming out November 9th, and it should definitely be a good time. And then releasing on November 15th, we have A Light in the Flame, which is the sequel to A Shadow in the Ember, which is the companion series to From Blood and Ash. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm obsessed with From Blood and Ash. I have done many predictions videos, recap videos, and just overall thoughts on this series. It is one of my favorite series of all time, so I am so looking forward to A Light in the Flame being released. I do plan on doing a reread of A Shadow in the Ember, as well as a recap video for A Shadow in the Ember, which will be releasing in early November. I'm hoping to get that out the weekend of Halloween, but we will see. But either way, I cannot wait to find out what's going to happen with these characters. It's going to be so good, and I will definitely be reading that very soon after it releases. And last up, releasing on November 29th, we have Saint, which is the prequel to Fable and Namesake by Adrian Young. And I loved Fable so much. So Fable is this super atmospheric story about this girl whose father is a pirate and ends up just abandoning her on this island that's full of ruffians and thieves and says that if she's able to survive and get back to a ship, then he, she will be part of his crew. So she grows up, is able to finally get off the ship, and then it pretty much turns into like a treasure hunt. And Saint was such a fascinating character. Saint's her father, our main character's father. 
And I just, I cannot wait to find out everything about his backstory. It should be really good. So like I said, that will be releasing on November 29th and it should be an amazing read. All right guys, so those are some of my most anticipated releases of November. Please let me know what you are most looking forward to reading in November and leave me some recommendations. I love getting recommendations from you guys. And I said this already, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.